Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best Benny's vehicles in GTA Online, not including lowriders. Starting off with the 10F widebody, which you could purchase for $2,250,000. This vehicle has a 128 mile per hour top speed, and it looks absolutely stunning. As you know, we were waiting so long for Rockstar to make a new version of the R8 in GTA Online, and we finally got one, but they take it one step further by adding it to Benny's, so we're able to upgrade it with all kinds of cool modifications along with liveries. It's a pretty amazing car, and it's definitely one of the nicest Benny's vehicles in GTA Online. Next up, we have the BF Weevil Custom, which you could purchase for $1,850,000, and it also has a top speed of 137 miles per hour. That is pretty damn fast. I absolutely love the look of this car from the second it was released. It's just one of those really beautiful cars. It has a bunch of awesome modifications. My personal favorite is going to be putting the spikes on the hood and on the roof, tossing the deep flake street wheels on there and then obviously you need to add those quad blast pipes on the back it just makes it look so much cooler and there are so many different ways you can customize the liveries on there with colors it looks phenomenal and obviously as a bonus it is extremely fast but at the end of the day it is definitely one of the most beautiful Benny's vehicles we have in GTA online next we have the Comet Retro Custom which you could purchase for only seven hundred and forty five thousand dollars which is extremely cheap for such a beautiful vehicle it is a top speed of 121 miles per hour which isn't too fast but at the same time i'm not purchasing a vehicle like this for speed i'm purchasing it because it looks absolutely stunning it's literally tied for first in terms of my favorite benny's vehicles in gta 5 there is so many different ways you can customize it and for the first time ever this is the only car in gta online where i like every single one of the liveries it has available for it because the way you can customize them with other colors looks absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, it is definitely one of the nicest Benny's vehicles we have in GTA Online. Next up, we have the Nero Custom, which you could purchase for $2,000,000. $45,000 with a 127 mile per hour top speed. The custom version is so much better than the base Nero because you get way more customizations and just look at how beautiful this thing looks. Every colorway that you toss on it looks absolutely phenomenal and obviously one of the best parts about this car is the fact that it's actually great for racing. There is still so many people using this car to do stunt races and a lot of them actually end up winning or at least finishing in the top five because it's a really really good car in terms of performance but at the end of the day it is beautiful like it is a stunning vehicle and the customization in terms of upgrades that i have on it is all i need it looks stunning like that and then any color you set as the primary looks absolutely phenomenal next up is the elegy retro custom which you could purchase for nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars with a 115 mile per hour top speed once again this is not the best vehicle for racing but in terms of beauty this thing is stunning. Like I said, the Comet Retro Custom is tied for first with one other car, and that is going to be this thing. They are my two favorite Benny's vehicles of all time. This car itself has a bunch of awesome customizations available for it, but I like to keep it a little bit more basic, and I really don't throw too much stuff on. And I like to keep a simple look to it, and then toss a bunch of different liveries on, and really mess with the colors. And every time, it ends up looking beautiful, either with the deep flake street rims, or just some simple blacked out wheels. I'm pretty sure you guys already all know this, but the LG Retro Custom is definitely one of the most popular and best looking Benny's vehicles that we have in GTA 5. Next up is the Sultan RS, which you could purchase for $807,000 with a 117 mile per hour top speed. Once again, not the best vehicle in the world for racing. And honestly, it's kind of surprising to me that this car has a top speed like that and is classified as a supercar in game. But like I said, I don't really care about that. I like the way the car looks. Look at how beautiful it looks. It's stunning. And it has a ton of customizations available for it as well. My favorite customization by far has to be the eyebrows. It just makes it look so much more aggressive and honestly just ties the entire front end of the vehicle together. And you got to admit, most of the cars on this list are relatively cheap because they aren't brand new cars. They came out a fairly long time ago, but they are still very popular, look absolutely stunning, and the best part is they won't burn a hole in your pocket when you purchase and or upgrade them. Next up is the Itali GT 
TV Custom, which you guys could purchase for $1,684,000 with a 127 mile per hour top speed. And honestly, one of the best parts about this is the fact that the converting cost to the custom version is only about 500 grand. And obviously, if you do decide to upgrade it to the custom version, you're gonna get a lot more awesome modifications like that front bumper and hood upgrade. This thing looks stunning. In terms of performance, it's actually not terrible. I've never actually used it in a race, but as I drive it around the city in story mode, it is pretty decent. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it in races because honestly, there's a lot of other cars out there that are a lot better. But like I said, this video isn't about the best performing Benny's vehicles. It's about the nicest ones. And this thing is beautiful. I especially love the look of that front bumper on there. It just makes it look so aggressive, even though it's a bit more expensive than some other Benny's vehicles. Like I said, it is stunning. And I love to have this thing sitting in my garage. Next, we have the Gauntlet Classic Custom, which you guys could purchase for $1,430,000. This thing has a top speed of 125 miles per hour and you guys already know I'm a huge fan of Dodge. I love every vehicle they make, or at least the ones they make now, and a couple of the ones back in the day, and this is one of the ones back in the day, and Rockstar, once again, has hit it out of the park in terms of everything with this vehicle. The customizations, the liveries, literally everything is phenomenal. The only thing I would change about it is maybe adding a couple more modifications for the front bumper. I'm not a huge fan of the bumper lips and the little vents they put on it, but honestly, I kind of just leave it the way it is, because like I said, it is absolutely stunning. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment your opinion on the nicest Benny's vehicles in GTA Online. And if you do want to see a video about lowriders as well, let me know down below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.